Hello everyone. Well, getting things done here, looking pretty good. Uh, in one of my previous videos, we talked about this uh, engine hanging from this uh, hanger and these uh, green chains here going through the mount. Um, I had it hoisted up and then found out that the chains were too short. So I had to lengthen them um, because when I would lift the engine up, it was not able to lift high enough to clear everything. So I had to uh, just lengthen it. So you just got to remember that uh, as long as your hoist goes up high enough that you can uh, lengthen the chains and uh, that way when you jack it up, it's not going to bind against anything. So it just would not go any any higher than what I had it, and it was bottoming out. So, but anyhow, other than that, um, things started going pretty good here. I um, had to put uh, these uh, engine mounts in. Let's see if I can get closer here. These uh, uh, rubber bushings on the mount, had to put those in, and um, the way it goes, there's um, there's some rubber uh, bushings that fit inside. Uh, let me get down here so you can see better. There's some bushings that fit in into this uh, these areas here. It's, it almost looks like a rubber hose, but it, it's a rubber bushing that fits in there that takes up uh, the slack of, of the bolts and stuff. And uh, when you put them in. Um, they fit very, very tight, so it, it, it becomes a little hard to do, but um, I have some, uh, it's a premium style dielectric grease, it's an aerosol can of grease that I was able to put on those bushings, and it's approved for rubber, and it's for electrical stuff, but it's approved for any kind of uh, rubber or plastic or anything. So by doing that, um, I was able to slip them in. They're, they're still pretty snug. Uh, I have heard that I might have to use a press. Well, I didn't have to do that just by using the dielectric grease. They, they did slide in. But then um, there's a stainless steel bolt here. Let me see if I can point it. This bolt here, and of course the one over on the other side, they're stainless steel and they have to slide down through there. Now. What I found out is when the stainless steel rods were produced, um, there was some burrs on the threads. So I used a, uh, I have a uh, tap and die set that had the right size. So I just used the die and I started over the edge of the thread and it cleaned it right up. But then what I heard um, from one of our other members uh, of, from Sakari, uh, Sakari USA, he said all you have to do is really take a, a wire brush on a grinding wheel brush and it, it'll clean up that thread. So I guess it's common on that, uh, be, probably because it's stainless steel. But uh, anyhow, once you, you have the center bushings in here and then uh, you slide the, the bolt through and you have to put these rubber mounts in here. You know, and you have to get this particular one in place, and then that that uh, once you start to torque it down, you have to have a, a, an exact dimension there for the compression, so that's tight enough. And I believe it was like 866 thousandths between the edge here and the edge up here. Um, in the manual, it shows you exactly where that has to be so um, then I'm trying to move around here and find my notes what I wanted to talk about um, yeah be, when you go to push that bushing in it's that center bushing that like, like I said it looks like a hose um, you kind of have to thread it in a little bit once it gets started then you can push it through but uh, if you just try to force it through, it's going to just slide the bushing back out. So you have to just be careful. 
uh, push it in from the bottom so when that when you put the stud through it'll uh, or the bolt through it'll keep it in place so let's see I'm kind of looking at some notes here anyhow I want to uh, talk a little bit about hanging this when when you lift up the hoist and you're putting the engine in place it it's going to be a little heavy on the front end of the engine so what I did is I put a, a ratchet strap uh, here and to go around the drive pulley I don't know if you can see that the ratchet strap goes around the drive pulley there and it levels off the engine uh, at that moment there's nothing else you can do to keep the engine nice and level so the ratchet strap worked perfect so but uh, right now, um, as you can see, everything seems to be going pretty good. Nothing is really difficult. You just got to um, take your time and make sure everything is done right. Of course, follow the manual. The manual has everything step by step what you need to do. And let me get around this side. There again, getting back to these chains, because that was the only problem I had is this chain, this one that's painted green here, um, that chain was a, just wasn't quite long enough. So anyhow, um, I think that's about all I need to talk about today. Uh, double check here. Um, let's see. I'm just looking at my notes because I want to make sure I didn't forget something at this moment. And I think I, I got pretty much everything. So, I'm um, going to just give you a little review of what's, what I all have here that's going on there. I have, uh, um, everything is still packaged up yet. I, I don't want to lay everything out, but here's my, uh, in this first box here is uh, uh, the fuse box. And then there's an oil tank that's going to be, I'm going to be mounting that on here pretty quick. Um, this is the, the oil tank that, that goes in there. But uh, I'm keeping everything or organized here in boxes without having them scattered all over the place because there are lots of boxes of parts yet. So anyhow, okay, I will talk to you on the next video. Thanks.